Y'all, it's been a while since I've done an update on Daniel. From the outside, it seems like he's been laying low since his freakout. Although one thing hasn't changed, and that's Daniel's frequent dine and dashes. He's even gone back to texting fans again, but we'll discuss that later. With Bob seemingly out of the picture and Daniel having no real income coming in, he's strictly relying on donations and his management to pay for his meals. But when Daniel doesn't have online pay pics, people in real life are still happy to help this degenerate creep. With Daniel posting this photo with the caption above it reading, thank you for dinner. Daniel later posted a video titled, I just got my dinner paid for by a friend. In this video, Daniel seems to go back to a restaurant after leaving without paying. Hello, can I talk to the manager for a moment? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. How are you doing? Hi, can I talk to the person that I was supposed to pay earlier? Yeah, she is right over here. Okay. After she's done taking care of this table, you can talk to her. Is everything okay? Well, um, I got a call from the probation officer out of Boulder. Uh -huh. And they are delaying my housing that I'm supposed to be receiving uh -huh. under probation okay. for next week. Okay. And so it's kind of messing up my finances all of a sudden. Okay. I do want to pay, like no joke. Uh -huh. um, but I can't do it today because I just okay. got a call. All right. Well, that you could talk to her, but changing. I think she's going to understand and she just really wanted to help you out too, okay? So when she's done, she's going to come over here and talk to you, all right? She's not going to be upset with you at all. Okay. All right? Thank you. You're welcome. I am, yes. Can I get a picture with you, please? I actually am not doing pictures at the moment. Okay, that's fine. As soon as I leave, I can, okay. but I don't want to leak the location until, like, everything is okay. secure. Right. So you mean, like, once you leave, because you come out? Yeah, yeah, because if my location gets leaked while I'm here, oh, yeah, then yeah. people you, start spam calling, and it's like a disaster. All right, I got you. Even though that kind of already happened. <laughs> my popularity is no joke. It never ceases to amaze me how Daniel can go back into a restaurant and tell these people straight to their face that he's not paying. And from an outside perspective, it seems genuine. But when you take in consideration the numerous times he's done it in the past, it really takes his credibility away. I mean, just today, he wrote a comment where he states, I just had my interview, also Bob is not responding to me, and I can't seem to get a hold of management again. And I am at a restaurant again with no way to pay, and I am waiting on management. Writing a couple minutes later, I'm working on getting a to-go box. It's truly sad to watch these people try and have sympathy for someone, not even knowing how manipulative he can be. Same goes with Daniel's frequent hospital stays. Recently, Daniel uploaded a video claiming it was taken when he had a caregiver, but it seems as though this video is new, being shot in a higher quality than Daniel's old videos. My, my care provider, his name is Daniel. I don't know his last name, but I know his name is Daniel. I, my care provider's name is Daniel. Yes, I, I can explain what company he works for. This is about like what? This isn't my decision. So, so you, we can figure it out. I'll just go get somebody else. I'll get some. I'll, I'll get the authority. We'll, we'll figure it out. Cool. Thanks, man. Be right back. See you later. It's apparent Daniel has no money for any hotels, and with the weather in Colorado being harsh, even for a cockroach like Daniel, he seems to be going back to sleeping at a hospital every night, wasting taxpayers' dollars and the medical workers' time. But that's the least of our worries involving Daniel. Recently, some texts came out that were allegedly from Daniel's TikTok account, where he interacts sexually with a fan that states they were only 15. These texts start off with Daniel stating, It's okay, I have a sexual question if you don't mind. Following that up with a question mark and saying, I don't know your age. The person tells Daniel, I'm 15, and Daniel asks, Can you talk sexual? The next day, Daniel writes, I'm a virgin, with a sad face, and then a question mark. He follows that up with, she needs to see the doctor, asking the person, are you a virgin, question mark, and then writing, can we talk? These are very reminiscent of Daniel's last text conversations with the minor, as Daniel clearly has no control over his sexual tension. One day, Daniel's going to act on these fantasies. It's only a matter of time. I mean, there's already some pretty suspicious videos out there of Daniel not only pinning a little girl down, but 
but also being caught taking pictures of kids at public events. So really, it's already happened, and people will continue to fund this guy, because at the end of the day, no one cares what Daniel has done, and it doesn't matter what you tell them, Daniel just isn't responsible for a thing. So at the end of the day, I doubt anything will come out of this, and Daniel will continue to prey on minors, and the only thing we can do is spread the word and let everyone know what he's been up to.